sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? I wanted to give you some tips before we started the run. Make sure to always use your web shield. It's very important. If you're running low on web, make sure to take photos of higher class enemies, so to speak. If you have sustained damage and you're at the next level, make sure to rest at Peter Parker's house as it will replenish his health. Make sure to shoot web at Mary Jane's chains during the final Kingpin fight. Be wary of Kingpin's hitbox, I will discuss that more in the run. And most importantly, stay patient. Eh, and I guess have fun. Alright, we're going to begin our No Death Run commentary of Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on the Sega Genesis on Nightmare Mode with Tired Stamina. So first things first, we're going to want to punch the cop <laughs> and then go all the way to the right here and wait for the crook and we'll punch him and head up into the warehouse. So, since we're on Nightmare Mode, we can actually skip a lot of the warehouse. We have to go through two quick segments here with a uh, crook. You can jump over him if you want, but I beat him up. And there was a German Shepherd or a dog down there, but you could actually skate through, or crawl through, this area. Uh, where we will then find the first mini-boss or sub-boss, who is the guy in the forklift. Uh, I take a picture here, because uh, the money replenishes your web after each level. Just in case I decide to use too much web, you know? You never know. Um, so pretty much the strat here is just jump over and I shoot web at him. You can actually like get in on him and punch him and stuff, but I find this to be a little bit safer. <clears throat> Luckily there is also some health to the left if we choose to grab it and or get hit a lot, which I just did here. So we're gonna go back and get that. And now we have our first uh, Venom appearance, but luckily we can just basically walk right by him. <laughs> um, you're gonna see me pull the web out because, or the web shield, excuse me, as covered earlier in the video, it kind of grants you um, protection. So we went up and around there. That area could actually be a little bit difficult. If you get shot there, you can kind of get caught in a loop, which is uh, very annoying, but luckily we got through in one shot. For Doc Ock, the uh, strat is basically to stay on top of them. Um, if you're like directly on top of them, he actually can't even hurt you, which is great. But if you want to be safe, grab your web shield. So now we're going to be utilizing uh, the Peter Parker home mechanic, which I mentioned earlier. At the beginning of each level, if we are not at full health, I'm going to heal up because we have plenty of time before the bomb. Uh, explodes. We don't have to worry about that time limit. So first things first, you're going to see a glitch here. <laughs> so how did I execute that? Uh, if you get close to the ceiling and basically mash the C button and hold right, you will just glitch all the way through. It's very weird. Cuts off a few seconds. It's more of a speedrun technique, but uh, the majority of this level is going to be swinging on our web and hopefully not getting hit. <laughs> we have enemies spawning in. Uh, down below. We get hit usually by once or two each time I go through here, but it is what it is. Uh, now you're going to make a drop and you're going to be swinging on your web all the way to the left until you meet Lizard, the boss of the stage. Watch out for the bats. It's best to swing at about mid-level, typically. Um, if you swing higher, you definitely get hit by a lot more of them. So now this is very key with Lizard coming up. We're going to get a picture of him. Don't go too far to the left. If you go too far to the left on Nightmare Mode, Venom will appear. Um, so for Lizard, you pretty much just do this. You crouch, stand up, shoot web, crouch, stand up, shoot web, rinse and repeat. Uh, we got hit there because I got greedy and wanted to take a picture of him. As you can see, we get a lot more money for taking pictures of bosses. <clears throat> so now we're going to be on to the third level, which is uh, Electro's power plant area, where Kingpin is, I guess, stealing the power for his transmissions. <laughs> you can see that in my story playthrough. Uh, we're going to do the same old shit here. We're going to go back to Peter Parker's house to heal up. Now, this level could be a little annoying. It's pretty short, but uh, what's annoying is the sub-bosses. They have weird, janky hitboxes. And also, if you get hit by the electricity, it does a lot of damage. So we're going to be utilizing our web shield throughout this level a lot. Try and hit these guys. 
Uh, a jump kick insta-kills them. If you punch them, it takes, I think, two or three hits. Um, but yeah, the electricity hurts a lot, so make sure you have your web shield out, because it will absorb a shock or two before it starts hurting you. And there you go. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty good in this run. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Uh, in my practice runs before recording, they were not as good. I'll say that. Uh, so yeah, we got a couple of crooks here. I think there's one more um, electric angel thing we have to take out, which is going to be up above. Uh, you don't need to hit that guy. You could have jumped over to the right and spawned him in and jumped down, but it is what it is. So we're just going to do the same thing here, try to jump kick him. I feel like at some point I have to struggle here and I probably punch him. I don't remember that. Yeah, okay, so we knocked him down and we didn't kill him. He's going to come back up and the next hit should do the trick. Uh, as you can see, we're having a little bit more trouble here, so it's advisable to have that web shield out. Otherwise, we'd be taking damage each time we're going in. Um, you might be able to shoot him with web. I don't remember, but I just choose to go for the melee. So now since we're on nightmare mode, in order to go to Electro, we have to face Venom. So Venom is going to make an annoying appearance here. And with Venom, I like to do the same strategy. You're going to see me do it. He kind of gets in the same loop where he jumps over you. There he switched it up. I don't know why. But typically, if you shoot web at him and kind of walk around like I'm doing, he'll just keep jumping over you. And you can continue to shoot web. And I do it where I shoot high and then low to make sure that I hit him. Because sometimes his iframes are a little wonky. So we're going to grab this, spawn in Electro, jump over onto here, and kneel down and shoot web. And as long as he keeps shooting web at the right time, he can't even touch you. So remember to stay on this platform, stay crouched, and shoot your web. If you feel like you can't time the web shots uh, well enough, you can kind of spam it. But I will tell you this, on Nightmare Mode, on low stamina, his electricity hurts hard. All right, now we're in a pretty cool gimmick level, which is Central Park. Um, so the shtick on this level is Sandman cannot be killed with melee or web. He has to be killed with water from the fire hydrant. Yes. So when you reach Sandman at the end, you have to backtrack all the way to the beginning of the level. We're going to utilize our web shield because there are some snakes on the ground. We're not really going to go up top much uh, where the, the gun enemies are. Uh, there will be a sub enemy of a giant gorilla. It's advisable to jump up into the trees and crouch kick it. It could be a little tricky though. I don't remember how clean it is on this run. <clears throat> I keep referring to it as this run, but this was my only recorded run. Uh, some of my practice runs were a lot cleaner, I think. <clears throat> so you should, yep, he's spawning in right now. As you can see, I guess if you're already up into the trees, he spawns up into the trees, which is annoying. But you're gonna wanna go over to this branch. This is typically the safe branch. We get hit, but just don't lose your mind work your way back up and you'll be able to get into kind of a cycle here where you're able to jump kick him or uh, crouch kick him excuse me and i don't know if he just has iframes or what the deal is but you can't hit him with each crouch kick um, i find that typically spider-man will not get hit if you continue to crouch kick that was pretty sloppy though but i don't really have much explanation for you so now we've spawned in sandman uh, you probably saw my life go up. There was a full heal all the way at the end of the level, so... Amongst uh, the trees, there are also some web and health items. Which is great, in case you're running low. So we're backtracking the Sandman all the way to the beginning of the level. Trying to... Um, hit him with the water. So, Venom was supposed to spawn. I think I despawned Venom somehow. And there was... That's bullshit, by the way. He was getting hit by the water. <laughs> Uh, you saw I grabbed another health there at the beginning of the level because he's giving me fits. There we go. But yeah, Venom is typically going to spawn there. Uh, I think even in standard mode. I don't know how I despawned him. Maybe I went too quick. Maybe I took a weird path thing. Who knows, but he didn't spawn. If he does spawn, keep your wits about you. Play footsie, so to speak, like uh, fighting game terms. Kind of go back and forth, get him out of the frame, come back over to Sandman, so on and so forth. So here, this is an interesting Venom spawn. He spawns instantly in this level, but I find that if you go over here onto these platforms and you get hit twice, he will despawn. I don't know why, but it works because then there's a full heal up there. So as long as you go into this level of full health, you jump over here, you get shot twice, you will survive. Make sure you're ready to kill the enemies, go up and get the full health and Venom will despawn. So now, 
we have our... I don't know if you want to call this the second mini-boss of the level or the first. The motorcycle person. So I like to use my web shield, jump over when they come in, jump down, wait till they're close to my body. The hitbox is kind of weird on them too. And with the web shield, we don't take any damage. And that's kind of what I'm doing, rinsing and repeating. And I'm taking a picture here just in case I run a little bit low on web after this level. Now he's dead and the other boss of the stage, Hobgoblin, has appeared up on the roof. So we're going to utilize our web shield again. And we're going to hit him four times. Um, he kind of just swoops down. Oh, I took a picture of him. Wow, getting greedy. <clears throat> so he pretty much comes from the opposite direction each time. So now he'll come from the upper right. And you're just going to jump, kick, jump, punch, whatever. And you think that's that, right? Nope. He's still got venom in this level. So we're going to utilize that same strat that I told you guys in the Electro level. Where we're trying to hit him with our web. To get him to kind of jump in this pattern loop. And then just kind of walk back and forth. Stand up and shoot, crouch and shoot, rinse and repeat until Venom is dead. The key here with Venom, guys, is getting him into the loop. Sometimes he can break up if you're not perfect. As you saw, he actually crouched down to try to shoot web at me, but I was able to avoid it, thankfully. So now we're going to be moving on to the longest level of the game, which heads over to uh, Kingpin's hideout. Again, if you guys are interested in the story, I have a story playthrough going up as well, or it might be up already. Lots of cutscenes in this game, but uh, for the purpose of this challenge run, in case I died, I did not want to sit through all these cutscenes. <laughs> so we're healing up yet again. And we're going to equip our web shield, which is very, 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 very important in this level. I will stress that again, very important, as there are some enemies, uh, namely the mechanical ones, that do a lot of damage if you don't have it out. I like to kill these guys typically, but not him. Um, but when I'm like down here and so on, I will definitely kill those things. When it comes to these gunners, they are brutal. Uh, I typically avoid them as long as my web shield is out until the very end of the level. Another tip, uh, if you cling to the walls with your web shield, you will lose it. So make sure if you don't want to waste your web that you're jumping and not clinging. So here we're going to have an instance of weird uh, web slinging mechanics that are necessary actually twice throughout this level. So we're going to have to swing up and thankfully little to no resistance as you guys... Oh yes. I apologize if the commentary has been a little jumpy through this segment. Um, unfortunately I was utilizing the uh, analog Mega SG and I was accidentally bringing up the fucking hotkey menu <laughs> so i had to edit that out it was so annoying it was uh, set to down and start so it actually happened twice in this segment Ugh. what i was trying to say was much like the first level you can kind of get caught in a loop of these guys shooting you when you're trying to swing up so it can get a little annoying but luckily we nailed it on the first try so now we're going to continue on here again bring out our web shield very important because that thing could uh, catch you off guard and fuck you up pretty good. <laughs> so make sure you have your web shield out. Uh, when I did my standard story run, I actually forgot about that. And if I didn't have my web shield out, I would have got probably demolished. So we're going to continue on. Uh, with the web shield, we could just drop down and jump up. Totally fine. We're going to take this dude out. And we are nearing the end of the level soonish, uh, which is going to be interesting. I have a strategy for the end of this level, but it didn't work out, and then we had to uh, kind of adjust on the fly, which I guess is going to be kind of good for you guys, so that you could uh, have multiple scenarios. But we're going to work our way up here, drop down, kill this guy, and grab the replenishment item, which I believe is health, yep. Uh, we're going to shoot this guy with web. One shot of web actually basically uh, debilitates them. So now... Venom is down here. We're going to try to jump up and lure Venom up there because occasionally... Oh, do I not? Yeah, I don't. That's right. So, this is the alternate strat. <clears throat> if you screw up like I did, you can kind of play footsie here with Venom. And it's tough because he's got a weird hitbox. You have to kind of manipulate him by going back and forth. But you can eventually ward him away with web shots. And you can't even get hit. Unless, of course... You're a little off, a little lazy, you go out too far, Venom stomps on you, whatever. So what I was trying to do, those ledges when I fell down, if you go up, first of all, there's a health item up there. Secondly, Venom, nine times out of ten, will follow you up there. And then if you go down quick enough, 
Venom will disappear. Like, if you get all the way over here when Venom's stuck up there, he won't even come back. And then you could deal with this section Venom free. Unfortunately for me, I got stuck and I got hit a bunch, so I'm crapping my pants right now. But, as I said, you just gotta stay patient, play footsie if you get caught in this situation, keep shooting him with web, and he will disappear eventually. It just takes quite a bit. There we go. So now we're gonna debilitate these gunners with web. There's uh, four of them in total. Oh, we, we go back for health, that's right. There's more health over here. There's the health up top that I was referring to. But there is more health over here. So basically there's two health things if you need it. Oh no, that was web. Oh. What a noob with my voiceover. Anyway. <clears throat> now we're gonna go up and get the health. Yeah, I forgot my own run. How about that? But yeah, uh, you actually need web. Because if you run out of web here, you actually... I don't think you can beat the level. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Because we have to do more web uh, swinging. And we're going to want to go really close to the ceiling. And jump up to the right. And then we have to get around an enemy. But typically, uh, this is easier than the other segment. Even though I got the other segment on the first try. I'd say 9.5 times out of 10 I don't get shot there. As long as I get up. Whew, that was rough. Anyways, so now we're at the very last level. Which we have to deactivate the bomb and deal with the boss rush. So the bomb <clears throat> is basically randomized from what I see. I think there are set patterns, but there is no set pattern, if that makes sense. So, in my testing, uh, I ended up accidentally setting the bomb off, so on and so forth, because the pattern was not consistent. So what I ended up doing was I ended up taking out the boss rush. That way I could sit there and really see what the bomb um, decoding key, I guess, order right uh is so first we're gonna deal with electro you're probably gonna get hit we're gonna use the same strat that we use in his level which is crouch and fire our web and don't move but it's really hard to not get hit when you come in i just advise that you just get hit because if you start jumping around and stuff you have the ability to fall down which then means other bosses can come at you if you stay up top you can get your web shield out and then fight hobgoblin hobgoblin alone the way that i'm doing this is one boss at a time if you kind of go to the wrong spots in here you will get multiple bosses on your ass and it is not fun again if the uh the bomb decoder was consistent which i don't think it is from what i've seen i would just probably drop down and muscle my way through but we're gonna play it safe now we got lizard I'm sure you guys know what to do you just Stand up, kneel down, shoot web, rinse and repeat. Uh, what draws him into you is when you stand up. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So now we're gonna have to deal with Venom. But first, oh, that's right, we used the wrong key. So typically it's baby blue, but there it ended up being navy blue and that's exactly what I'm talking about. You can't rely on it, man. So we're gonna utilize the same exact strat that we've used for Venom, what, three times now? <laughs> Oh, he's... Ooh, that's right. I forgot he was giving me fits. I did tell you guys that even though he's very loopable, occasionally, he will go rogue. And luckily, we already know how to dispatch of him. And there's health items coming up, so no big deal. So when it comes to defusing the bomb, uh, if you wait until it blinks black and then a color, that's the color that's supposed to go in. White is typically always the last key. <clears throat> but I've seen weird... <sighs> More often than not, it's baby blue, navy blue, gray, red, white. But as you can see here, we started with navy blue and then we went red. So all out the window. But now at this point, I know uh, that white always is the last one, but I'm being very cautious probably because I don't feel like redoing this run. Because <laughs> if you put the wrong keys in too much, the time speeds up like crazy and the bomb will blow up in like, I don't know, 20 seconds real time, 15 seconds, something ridiculous like that. And I think if you put too many wrong keys in, it actually just blows up instantly. So be careful. My advice, honestly, is just, just take out the bosses one at a time, just as I did. Electro, upper left. Hobgoblin, upper right. Lizard, lower left. And then deal with the uh, Venom loop. Um, I don't think I really mentioned it, but the mechanics of wall climbing, sticking, whatever, in here can get a little funky. Um, so you'll see me struggling from time to time. Yes, you're now fully charged on life and it is time for Kingpin. The main strat 
For Kingpin, keep out your web shield and make sure Mary Jane isn't dipping into the acid by shooting your web at the ceiling. You'll get a confirmation sound if it is accurate. Now Kingpin has a weird hitbox, guys. I don't even know how to describe it. I use his, uh, his, I guess, undershirt that's below his vest as a guide. I jump in and then I hit him. So I'm not hitting him from outside. I'm not aiming at his head. I'm kind of like jumping into his body around the green part. And just before the ground, I'll press hit. It's like, it's the weirdest hitbox, guys. Like you jump into him and then just before you reach the ground, you kick. He has like a 1% hitbox on his body, I'm not kidding. So you have to hit him nine times, and if Mary Jane is dipping into the acid or whatever it is, um, just make sure that you're stopping her, because Kingpin's hitbox is so bad that it might take a while. Luckily for me, this was a pretty clean run. Um, it'll typically take about two or three Mary Jane stops during the fight, if you know what you're doing. I will say this though, that Kingpin's hitbox is bad. I don't, I, I can't stress it enough, it's so bad. So without proper practice, you guys will probably struggle a bit. Um, but above all else, I just sincerely hope that if you guys have trouble with this game, a lot of these uh, strats could be applied on standard mode as well. But obviously, specifically for Nightmare in this run, I hope you could beat the game. Because this game was a thorn in my side as a child. Uh, my parents couldn't beat it. I couldn't even beat it in high school when I retried it. But I'm glad that we finally got it done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, take care.